Do you hate paying full price for software? Well, this video's sponsor has you covered. YourCityKeys.com offers discounts on all the latest PC titles and even better discounts on Windows 10 and Office Pro licenses. You can validate your copy of Windows or stop using that annoying open source version of Office for a fraction of the price of buying them retail. You can even bundle Windows 10 and Office for even further savings. Use coupon code TJ20 at checkout to save 20% more. Links as always are in the description. Did you know they still make newspapers? Hi there, I'm Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet. Headline news, because you guys. Headline news. I'm so excited today because so many cool things are happening. So many. First off, going to CES, book my trip, Expedia.com, and it's, it's actually happening. Got all my press credentials ready for CES, and I made the front page. Did you know they still sell newspapers? It's only this thick, like literally this is the entire paper. I didn't just pull the front section out. But, I mean, I'm on the front cover. I'm cover story because of you guys. This is so cool. Yes, I'm going to CES and that's what that newspaper is all about. But there's more exciting news than that. And I'm going to be there to witness it. AMD apparently is going to break the industry. Going to just, just crush it at CES. And uh, apparently some employee there... Or maybe at a board partner company, couldn't keep their mouth shut and they emailed Adored TV. And, uh, you know, it probably takes salt and all that stuff with your leaks. But when it comes from a respected, you know, industry journalist as uh, Adored TV, and, you know, and he's got multiple sources leaking sort of the same information, at least some of this stuff's going to be true. And if you haven't heard yet, it's extremely exciting stuff. So, uh, thanks very much, Adored. You can go check out his video if you want, like, every last crumb of detail. He does a super good job at that. But today we're talking about Zen 2 and how it just basically going to break the freaking industry, man. And I'm talking graphics cards. I'm talking Intel is... The only thing that's going to be left for NVIDIA is the ultra $2,500 high-end. And who cares? Let them have it, right? I don't know. They're doing a lot of things right here, AMD, and it's interesting because a lot of this I noted in a very popular video I did, can, you know, uh, Intel's 14 nanometer compete with Zen 2? And uh, I even made some graphics card claims that, you know, what if AMD could come out with a card that, uh, you know, was in the under $400 range, and it's supposed to be a lot lower than that, actually. And could compete with like the 2070 or 2080 in between there. You know, like the, the old 1080, as long as it had that performance and it was really cheap, it would just sell like crazy. And 7 nanometer is giving AMD all the benefits in the world. Well, Intel can't even get their 10 going. And they <laughs> come up with this bum 10 core on the consumer socket that, you know, it's just going to be using the same processes and stuff. It's just silly. So let's get into the deets, into the details that I'm so excited about and how this is going to change the industry. And they already changed the industry once with Ryzen. Eight cores, commercially viable for just, you know, any old average consumer, the gamer. That was like next level. And now they're, they're going to blow that out of the water with this announcement right here. Huh, apparently this is the product stack for Zen 2 7 nanometer. Okay. Zen 2 uses uh, little chiplets, and those chiplets are 8 cores, and they're able to do some really funky stuff with that, really funky stuff, and I'm just excited to talk about it. So, first off, can you imagine, you know, Ryzen 3 was 4 cores, no hyper-threading. Can you imagine Ryzen 3 being 6 cores with hyper-threading, with uh, whatever, the, whatever AMD calls it, hyper-threading? I, I, I'm drawing a blank. It doesn't matter. Imagine, okay, 16 damn threads, and that's the cheap CPU. $100. No one's going to buy Intel ever. And apparently the clock speeds are going to get up pretty high too. Uh, you know, ranging up to 4.3 gigahertz on this uh, Ryzen 3 3300X. And then to top that all off, they start, instead of putting a chiplet with... Uh, Zen 2 on it, they put a Navi, which is their upcoming graphics architecture chip, on the other side. We'll talk about that in just a second. Actually, let's just show it right now. Boom! 
basically there'd be some sort of I.O. die and a chiplet and, you know, a bin 6 core one. And then a Navi with, uh, you know, 15 compute units. That's like 1050 territory probably. So, you know, like a 1050, 1050 Ti integrated graphics card with six cores. You know how many people don't need high-end graphics that would, you know, comfortably play Fortnite with that computer? They wouldn't even need a graphics card. That's crazy. Comfortably play, like, a lot of 1080p gaming. But what's really awesome about this is this should actually bump the industry along. Because we've been, you know, kind of stuck with four cores, eight threads for a while. And, uh, you know, they were building stuff around that. And we're just finally seeing games that actually utilize all eight threads. But if everyone's got 12 threads, then things are going to start to change pretty dramatically. So then you move up to Ryzen 5, which is going to now be eight cores, 16 threads. Oh my goodness. With uh, a 229 high price for a 4.8 gigahertz turbo boost 3600X. That's insanity that's uh, a 229 chip that is going to equal the performance of the 9900k are you you're blowing my mind you're blowing my mind that's that's insane and then to top that all off they're gonna throw a navi 20 chiplet in there and make a 200 dollars consumer cpu that comes with essentially like a rx 570-ish performance? We're not sure on the Navi little chiplet cores. But let's say it's even, again, 1080 Ti territory. You know, that's, so many people could enjoy that workload. And uh, or, 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 you know, the, the companies could develop around it. You could have video editing software that all it needs is that compute unit core. And it's doing OpenCL you know, rendering in the background. Just like they did that update to Adobe Premiere that uses the integrated graphics on Intel. And then all of a sudden you have a very capable video editing or graphics rendering computer that doesn't even have a video card in it. Oh my God, that's so, that's, that's awesome. You'd be able to, you know, video edit on the weekends and play Fortnite at night until 12 a.m. with the Mountain Dew all over your face. It's going to be fun. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's just Ryzen 5. <laughs> then you move on to Ryzen 7, 3700 and 3700X. And all of a sudden, you have a 12-core, two 6-core chiplet that goes up to 5 gigahertz. Intel just said that they're going to make a 10-core on their consumer. That's cute, isn't it, Intel? <laughs> it's just as if they do this. And what's insanity, what's insanity is we don't even stop there. AMD will actually cannibalize their old Threadripper lineup with a consumer version, and mind you, it's going to have less PCIe lanes and stuff like that, less RAM, you know, slots, but uh, a 16-core, 32-thread Ryzen 9, 39, or 3800, sorry, uh, uh, boosting up to 4.7 gigahertz with a 125-watt TDP. That's a 16-core processor that's still cheaper than the 9900K that goes to probably 5 gigahertz when you overclock it. Now, uh, and then uh, apparently they're going to do a 16-core 5.1 gigahertz 50th anniversary uh, 3850X. That's that's interesting too. Uh, I just I'm I'm overloaded at this point. I don't know what to say. So this if they, if this actually happens, which we're being led to believe that's probably going to be what they announce at CES. We see there's some charts here for what's being announced at CES. There's a lot of box ticked there with only the integrated graphics chips being either announced or released later on. But like, the, Intel cannot compete with this. And NVIDIA cannot compete with this on the low end. And then it gets so much better. It gets so much better. So we have this, you know, in complete cr increase in core count, complete increase in frequency, and then you throw in some Navi cores on, uh, you know, some really good integrated graphics, much better than Vega ever was. And all of a sudden you're seeing, you know, these awesome six core and eight core with integrated graphics that could play video games, that could do OpenCL workloads. And then the cream of the crop is that you could go and buy a new graphics card from them too if you want. Woohoo! 
AMD RX 3060. Now, they're doing that whole thing again where they're just going one number higher like they did on their chipsets with like X399. Uh, instead of being 2060, they're going to compete with the 20 or 3060 with a Navi 12. And apparently it's going to be 129.99 with the uh, power of an RX 580. That's... This this has to be wrong, right? Like, even if some of this is true, everyone's going to be happy. And I'm assuming this stuff's already in production. This stuff's already happening. Because to have all the yields outlined and stuff like that, to have uh, a structure on how you're going to bang your chips and put on a chart for CES, you have to be producing these. You know? Imagine by the end of January, you could have an 8-core uh, <laughs> Ryzen five cpu in your in your computer with a vega graphics like that maybe that won't happen right away but still super super cool so 75 watt cdb this wouldn't even need to be plugged in with uh four gigs of gddr6 this would be like a 1050 t or t sorry just a 1050 or a 1050 ti be like that you just take it plug it into any system Se 75 watt tdp and then it gets better it gets, there's there's more AMD's not going for the high end, and that's in one of my videos I pleaded with them not to try and make some Navi or Vega 7 nanometer that competes at the high end with the 2080 and 2080 Ti. Because no one needs that, and even if you price them decently, uh, like well, I guess people could need it eventually, and we'll get there eventually with what they're doing here for sure. But, you know, there, there's a, a need not being met. I mean, NVIDIA just went, fuck you, we'll release a Titan before a cheap 2060 graphics card because we made too many dies while mining was happening and then it took a turd so now we have to sell those off and if we release a low end 20 part an rtx 2060 or whatever might not even be called that gtx 2060 then we'll cannibalize our uh 1060 sales and we won't be able to sell off our old, all our old gpus well amd is apparently going to help us out with a boom RX 3070 with a Navi 12, 8 gigabytes of GDDR5, $200, 120 watt TDP with equivalent performance to a Vega 56. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm sorry. I'm bouncing around like crazy. That this is too good to be true, man. $200, $200 for Vega 56. That's that's amazing. And then it even goes a little higher than that, competing with a 2060 or 1070. AMD Radeon RX 3080 with 15% better than Vega 64 performance at $249.99 and 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 and no HBM in sight. No expensive manufacturing of HBM involved. Like this is awesome to go out and for $250 for the price of an RX 580, you get to go out and buy a freaking 1080 equivalent or a 2070 equivalent and who cares about ray tracing because one game supports it and nvidia is just gonna like lose crazy market share my only fear is that they can't produce this stuff fast enough and that's definitely going to be you know something to think about so a whole tune of new graphics cards thanks to door tv for bringing this up i'm going to be there at ces according to my newspaper i booked my flight it's going to happen all thanks to you mother truckers it's gonna be so fun and we're gonna witness this change in the industry because it's going to just as long as they can make these they're gonna sell them as long as they can make ryzen 2 they're gonna sell them as long as they can produce these new navi gpus they're going to sell like crazy and as long as they can keep stock th there's no way they don't gain 50 percent market share on both uh, the graphics card end and the CPU end. And I think that was Lisa Sue's plan. And she didn't moonshot with Ryzen. She waited. She bided her time. She priced everything appropriately. She gave back to the consumer who wanted a high-end CPU and maybe toughed it out with the FX series for so long and put all the chips in place. And even with so many intelligent people being stolen from AMD, this is the kind of work they can get done Man, there's, there are forces that will never, ever be, be taken over by Intel in a million years, as long as they keep this stuff up. And I just think that's so awesome. So uh, go check out Adored's video. AMD is definitely going to pwn CES 2019. Timmy Joe's going to be there. I'm so excited. And I, you know, let's just say that half of this stuff is true. 
okay? Maybe the core counts are a little bit different than was there. Or the frequency isn't five gigahertz in some spots, but it's 4.8 gigahertz. Like that's still amazing news. Take away half of the news I just gave you, and it's still amazing news. So it's gonna be pretty hard to be disappointed, unless, I guess at this point, all this stuff doesn't happen. <laughs> but it looks like it's gonna happen. They're announcing seven nanometer, and it's just going to be a godsend for AMD fanboys. And Intel fanboys, you're dwindling by the minute, man. Intel, it's like, being into Trump. <laughs> you can only defend their bullshit for so long before you start going, why did you do that? <laughs> oh man, I look so, so forward to this. Uh, anyways, I will see you guys at CES. I want to thank you very much for sending me there. Again, I was on the freaking newspaper. I will stop ranting at the cameras. I just thought maybe my audience would want to know my take on it and I'm extremely ecstatic about it. I mean, it's really hilarious that I got a 16 core Threadripper behind me that has like $2,000, $2,500 worth of hardware and it's going to be re replaced by what? a uh, thousand dollars worth of hardware next year and the only thing you're gonna be missing is pcie lanes and then threadripper's gonna go somewhere from there you know there's gonna be a 64 core threadripper with zen 2 oh my goodness apparently epic's just the, like shipping to customers and it's doing very very well it's doing what they thought the seven nanometer process has increased frequency drop temperatures and you know overall produce more performance at the same tdps so we can only look forward to this good stuff. I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. That's my leaks video. Dump the salt on it, but you know, come come CES, come Las Vegas. I will be shaking hands with Lisa Sue, okay? Hashtag Lisa Meets Timmy 2019. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Love you guys. Woo!